We have every intention of being the number one electric pickup maker, and then we plan to challenge Tesla and all comers to become the top EV maker in the world. Ford means business. They've already started deliveries of the F-150 Lightning and customers love it. Now they have just confirmed the launch of the Ford Maverick EV, a smaller and more affordable version of the F-150 Lightning. After selling almost 200,000 F-150 Lightning trucks, Ford has confirmed they will launch an EV version of the popular Maverick truck. Today, we will look at exactly what the Ford CEO has revealed about their plans to dominate the EV industry and how the Ford Maverick EV plays a vital part in their strategy. Henry Ford's introduction of the Ford Model T in 1908 kick-started the modern vehicle industry as we know it today. 104 years later, Jim Farley is guiding Ford through its most significant transformation as the company transitions into an electric vehicle manufacturer. Speaking at the Goldman Sachs Investor Conference recently, Farley said that Ford's goal is to be the world's most trusted mobility company, with electrification being a keystone of that strategy. The Ford Maverick is the next logical step for a company aiming to dominate the electric car market. It is a much more affordable version of the Ford F-150 and almost half the cost of the Cybertruck. We'll get into the prices and details shortly, but the most important thing to understand here is that by creating an affordable EV truck, Ford has opened the market to a much broader audience. If Ford can successfully bring down the cost, the path to EV ownership is much more achievable for the average family. With an average salary in the U.S. of $56,310, most people looking to upgrade their trucks aren't buying a brand new one. They're more likely to buy one a few years old to fit within a lower budget. But guess what? There aren't any secondhand EV trucks in America because they're all brand new. Enter the Ford Maverick. The Maverick is currently offered with a hybrid engine and comes in three price options. The Maverick Lariat costs $26,985, the Maverick XLT costs $23,775, and finally the Maverick XL costs $21,490. The price of the EV version of this car hasn't been confirmed yet, but if it can get anywhere near the price of the hybrid Maverick, then the EV Maverick will be the cheapest way to own an electric vehicle. But if it's cheap, then it must be poor quality, right? Don't let a low price fool you into thinking the Maverick won't live up to expectations. The Ford Maverick has a customizable pickup bed and two charging points that can easily power a microwave, TV, or even a small chop saw. All three versions come with a 2.5-liter hybrid engine that will do 0 to 60 in around 7 seconds. The max payload of the truck is 1,500 pounds. Moving inside, there's an 8-inch digital touchscreen display as standard and Ford's 360 co-pilot system that covers auto beam, rear view camera, and some lane departure warnings. Ford has estimated a range of 500 miles on their website, but it seems this is way lower than what people are actually achieving. Okay, I was hoping for 700 miles on this tank. Hell, I'm getting close to 800 miles now. Ford launched the current hybrid Maverick to lure in potential customers with a low-cost way to be onboarded as an EV owner. According to Ford sales figures, they sold 19,246 Mavericks in the first quarter of 2022, of which 46.75% were hybrids. Carscoop.com has called the Maverick the Conquest King, reporting that 60% of buyers of the new hybrid truck previously owned a different brand of car and switched to Ford specifically for the Maverick. In a recent interview with The Economist, CEO Jim Farley was brutally honest when discussing Tesla. No one has really attacked the heart of Tesla's business model, which is extremely high-priced vehicles. He then followed up with, in the next 25 years, you're going to see people say, wow, I love that vehicle, and it happens to be electric, and it's half the price of a Tesla. During the interview with Morgan Stanley, he also showed his softer side when he revealed that his grandfather was on the production line working for Henry Ford himself. Over the last two years, the Ford Motor Company has been on a journey from a traditional car behemoth to an innovative frontrunner in the race to catch up with Tesla. Kodak was the leader in photography, but they failed to embrace digital photography and were left behind. Blockbuster laughed at the idea of streaming movies, and we all know what happened to them. The auto industry is next, and Farley seems to be doing everything in his power to prevent Ford from facing the same fate. 
The company has split into two separate businesses, one for traditional cars and one for self-driving and electric vehicles. They've done this to give freedom to the EV side to innovate, avoid company bureaucracy, and above all, move fast. We've been very clear that we see an inflection point in the industry, said Marcy Cleborn, president of Ford's new autonomous vehicles business group. Cleborn said that by 2025, 40% of Ford's revenue will come from electric vehicles and self-driving cars. Apple has also been chasing Tesla and has been working on its electric car for five years. They're rumored to be working on a battery that will give the car a range of 600 miles and be fully autonomous to the point where it doesn't even have a steering wheel. The project, nicknamed Titan, was put on hold in 2016, but picked back up again in 2018 with a new team of engineers. Apple suffered a huge blow in 2022 when Doug Fields, who was leading the team at Apple and previously worked on the Model S, made an unexpected shift to lead Ford's self-driving and electric vehicle programs. In the face of more competition from General Motors and Ford, the newest edition of the Bank of America Merrill Lynch's annual Car Wars study predicts that Tesla's electric vehicle market share will plummet from 70% today to just 11% by 2025. By mid-decade, according to a study by author John Murphy, a senior auto analyst at Bank of America Merrill Lynch, the two Detroit Titans will surpass Tesla in terms of sales and market share. The report suggests that traditional manufacturers will experience explosive growth from the F-150 Lightning and Silverado EVs. Murphy believes Tesla will lose its dominant position in the EV market because it's not expanding its portfolio quickly enough to keep up with both legacy automakers and new startups that are ramping up their EV lineups. Tesla has delayed the Cybertruck and the Roadster many times, and customers are starting to grumble. Some people put down a deposit for their Cybertruck in 2019 and have been patiently waiting. During this time, they've witnessed Ford Motors plan, design, engineer, release, manufacture, and deliver the Ford F-150 Lightning. The EV market is only going to get more competitive in the coming years, and it remains to be seen if Tesla can keep its place at the top. Let us know what you think about the Ford Maverick and Ford's plans to take on Tesla. Do you think they've got what it takes to challenge them on a global scale? If you've watched until now, thank you very much. Please consider subscribing to Velocity for more videos like this.